In this video, we will see how to deploy the CloudPoint Docker image on your AWS cloud. Before we get there, let's first download the binary. That's easy. For the binary, just go to veritas.com slash get CloudPoint, which is a short URL, which will redirect here to the right download website. When you enter your first name, last name, company, and certain other pertinent details, it will give you the binary to download. And you can download that keep that available for deployment. Having done that, let's move to the EC2 console. In the EC2 console, we'll launch a regular Ubuntu VM. Uh, for CloudPoint Docker, we recommend that you start with Ubuntu 16.04 LTS instance. So let me go and launch that. So now I'm gonna select Ubuntu 16.04. Once I do that, it presents me with certain options on machine sizes. We recommend that you start with t2.large for production use and you scale it up as you need to use more and more so the next thing in this these are all defaults according by organization policy your organization might, might have different vpcs different subnets um, you know other policies that you have to cater to i also check t2.unlimited t2 CPUs are burstable CPUs, which means they have a certain number of credit hours assigned by AWS. What T2.unlimited does is if I go past the burstable CPU for a certain use, then it will bill me extra, but it wouldn't limit the CPU usage. So I'm going to go and check T2.unlimited. And I'm also going to check protect against accident termination so that nobody deletes it by accident or corrupts it because I'm doing this demo I don't want this instance to go away and typically in production environment you want to be extra careful so the next add storage in this step I'm going to add uh, extra GBs to my root disk so I'm going to move it up to 615 and then I'm going to add a extra EBS volume this EBS volume we ask so that we can uh, store any persistent data outside the containers. For example, the color point asset database resides on a MongoDB, and that MongoDB resides on this disk. Cloud point logs and any such persistent data is on this disk. Now, if you're migrating from a existing cloud point instance, you wouldn't need to add this to attach the disk. And that's a slightly separate process. Next, I'm going to add names that will allow me to specify that this instance is being used for a certain purpose. So I'm going to say AWS demo install. And next, I'm going to create a CloudPoint uh, security group security for PowerPoint. In addition to the existing SSH port, which allows you to enter the instance and deploy code and you know do regular maintenance, we also need a couple of other ports, one of them being HTTPS, the regular 443, and I'm going to say anywhere, and also need a 5671 which is the port for communication with RabbitMQ for all the services so I'm just going to write RabbitMQ to remind me that it is RabbitMQ port and I'm going to say review and launch so this all looks good I have captured all the details required and I say launch at launch it asks what keeper I want to use I have already generated Amazon key pair. You can choose to launch without a key pair or you can create a new key pair. I'm going to just use my existing key pair for the BEM file and then say launch. AWS takes a couple of minutes to get started on launching that instance. Okay, now that the instance is running, it is AWS is running a few statistics, but we can ignore that safely for the time being. And we can just go and log into the instance. So let's copy this instance 
uh, public IP and switch over to our terminal in this we're just going to launch a new terminal and say ssh minus i okay now we need to also deploy docker and then copy over the binary that we had downloaded already so let's first deploy docker on this ins instance just to do that you can go up to google and search for deploy docker community edition on ubuntu and it will spit up this page it has a bunch of requirements and um, you know commands which will allow you to deploy docker for convenience i have captured those commands in a separate file for this demo it, these are the same commands that are available on the website itself and you can look them up there as well I'm just copy paste Let's verify the GPG key fingerprint. Okay, let's add the repository. Okay, Docker is installed. Now we have to format and mount the data disk onto this. Let's check the data disk first. LSPLK, okay, there you go, the 50 gigs data disk. So it's XBDB, so we will say sudo mkfs minus d d4 slash tab slash. Okay, now. We are creating a cloud point directory at the root of the file system. And we will now mount the data disk onto this directory. Okay, so that's done. Now we need to bring the downloaded Docker binary into this instance that we just launched to do that i'm just going to go to my other instance where the docker binary lives okay so that's my image file i'm going to copy this file into my newly launched instance So I'm using the secure copy command and I need oops, a instance IP the newly created instance there you go and I'm just going to copy it over to the home directory Now, depending on your network connection between your newly created EC2 instance and your existing uh, location where you downloaded the binary, it may take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes. Okay, that's copied. Let's switch over here and say ls. That brings it. So now let's first load.
and now we will need to launch this using a docker command so I've copied the command here as well Okay, once we get that prompt we need to go back to our browser now in the browser we just copy the IP address public IP address of the new launch instance and start with an HTTPS ignore the warning because you will install a certificate and those warnings will go away so I'm going to ignore them for the time being and we recommend that you give the username as an email that would allow you to recover your passwords after you set up the email so for now I'm going to say and supply as many host names as possible this is the default host name based on the browser IP address and accept telemetry accept your EULA and say configure at this time CloudPoint is going through the process of initializing the services installing the certificates and other requirements for getting the CloudPoint service up and running. Okay, once we get this prompt, I'm just going to go and refresh my browser. And that's it. Now you can use the username and password that was supplied earlier and log into CloudPoint. Thank you.